still. Not a fond of being apparently. <laughs> oh, do I have to run? Oh. oh, I can't run anymore. Dude, come on, there's a monster chasing you. It's not the time to have weak lungs. All right, we are here today checking out a little Mediterranean inspired banger by the name of Horror Tales The Wine. Now, as I understand, this right here is a solo developer project. I was actually quite impressed when I read about that because the game itself looks really, really freaking good. And as a matter of fact, I think it's going to be like one of a trilogy of games that are coming out within the next couple of months from the developer. The other two will be The Beggar and The Astronaut. This one here, however, is all about a pandemic that's apparently wiped out this um, fictional Mediterranean island. Some sort of uh, disease called the Devil's Fever that's apparently wiped everybody out. Or so we think. A pandemic which causes strong fevers, terrible delirium, and death has relentlessly decimated the inhabitants of the archipelago. Rumor has it that a prestigious red wine, produced in the capital, can cure the sick. You are Marti Vermelo. In a desperate attempt to cure the infection of your loved ones, you steal a boat and head to the winery where the red wine is made, somewhere in the capital. If you find just one unopened bottle of red wine, it will be enough. On reaching the island, you decide to go to the wine winery owner's estate to try your luck there. The Bani Debosk family estate is closed and has a dock. A cold smell of death, calm, and silence comes over your body. When you arrive at the dock, they sealed off the infected families in their own homes without food or water. But even then, the quarantine didn't work. There's no one left alive. So it seems. Now keep note, it's going to be a very intriguing little um, clash of styles because we have this, this obviously very gorgeous looking environment here, right? But um, a lot of death and despair awaits us as well. So it's going to be a really intriguing little combination. We could even sail home right now if we want to. I imagine it's probably, I don't even know what that would do. I'm kind of, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of curious. What happens if I decide to leave right now? Get out of here. Warning, access to canals partially restricted due to the publicly known situation in connection with the so-called Devil's Fever. We informed that certain canals and underground passages are closed until further notice. Anyone who attempts to forcibly open these accesses will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. The remaining open canals are available for use provided the lockdown curfew hours are observed. So, we're looking for one of these apparently here. Unfortunately for us, all the ones that we're finding right now have already been broken. I mean, if I was this dude, I'd be probably grabbing a rag right now and just dipping it into what's left over there and just soaking it up and turning my ass back onto that boat and leaving. But this, I mean, that was apparently empty too, huh? I had hopes for that one. Tire body was still filled up there. What do we got here? Warning, access to the house completely closed. Uh, due to the situation... Okay. Seems for the most part just about the same thing we just read before. So we should be... Ah, <laughs> jeez! Um, <laughs> welcome to one of our other, uh, inhabitants of this island. So, I, I knew of him, I, I just wasn't aware we're gonna see him this early on. Um, yes, uh, apparently, throughout the entire time you're here, you're gonna be chased down by a rifle-wielding maniac. Rewards for the killing of any Bonnie Debyox. Huh. For the killing of them. It's apparently where we dog, too. Bounty offered to any citizen who hunts down members of the... I can't even say that word again, so whatever. It's the Banny family, right? The reward will be double for children and triple. Double for children? And triple if the dishonorable Mr. Banny is captured alive. They should preferably be killed with a weapon which does not cause them to bleed. But if a rifle is necessary, avoid shooting the head or arteries, which may cause pools of blood to form. Well, uh, apparently this family isn't uh, well liked. Um, you know, especially if you're getting double the bounty kills for the children just alone. And apparently killed them without causing pools of blood, so maybe they're the ones who started the fever somehow? Could be. What do we got here? Crouch? Sure. Okay. Nothing there. Mm. Broken window. Doesn't seem like we could probably make that, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that man again? 
<laughs> you crazy, I ain't opening that door, you're out of your mind. My ass ain't stepping outside. Strange fevers extends beyond the slums. The first cases of widespread fevers have extended beyond the slums, reaching the other side of the river towards the areas where wealthier citizens live. For the moment, there is no reason to pay much attention to these fevers. Although at this time of year, it's strange to have so many cases of the flu. Authorities are telling the public not to be alarmed. In an unusual press conference with the Honorable Mr. Banidopsik, the mayor gave his approval for wine production to continue. Even so, according to the information this newspaper has obtained, in cases of fevers continue to rise at the current rate, the entire slum district where the vast majority of immigrants live will be closed off and confinement to stop further spreads of the fever. Immigration to diseases, problems, and solutions. Wow. Nothing there. Hmm, got a key. Well, apparently there's a lock that we gotta access at some point. Jeez, stop that! Don't do it! There's no reason for you to suddenly fall that way and scare me, so I guess we need to... Ah. So even had I tried walking out, we wouldn't have run it to our boy, because we needed a key. Interesting little contrast to all the nice things we're seeing out here. It's apparently locked from the other side, huh? Can you, uh, help me, my friend? Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slam right into that, please. You disappoint me. What's over there? More of these rats, huh? Alright, let's go check out that building, but before we do so... Hmm. It's apparently a note here. To... Juam and other hired workers whose salaries will be reduced by one half for the next two months. The Honorable Mr. Banidas has informed me of the following complaints regarding your poor building work on the structure and access to the private cellar. So apparently, um, a little bit of punishment for not building the cellar to the dude's demands here, huh? Well, I guess we gotta somehow go through here? Is this even right? I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna loop back around to get into that building over there now. Hopefully you find a way through it. Uh, it's not gonna go- oh, here we go. I mean, I'm intrigued if we could somehow... I wonder if we're gonna loop back in somehow, or if the game has, like, multiple paths to take. If it's got multiple paths, it's actually kind of impressive. If it all loops back, well, that's fine, too. I guess we could crouch through there, perhaps? But, what do we got here? Uh... Leaf and a corkscrew opener, maybe? What is... Oh, it was just a rat. I was like, dude, I saw something move back there. So once we go down, I guess we can go back up. Are you right, dude? Man, this guy just apparently broke his ankles right now. Important announcement from Foreman Chwame Costanzo to all workers. As if it were not difficult enough to work for the Benedis family, now they've become paranoid because of everything with the fever. And they've ordered us to install these strange metallic doors. So... These doors that are obviously clash with the environment here. Were ordered to be put in by these uh, Benedis family, which apparently people want to kill. Might have something to do with the... Devil's Fever. Alright. Let's, let's jump through here. Okay, now we have a puzzle, do we? Uh, huh. Well, this is actually fine. Remember we saw, like, a note of this earlier? It was the, uh, leaf and the... corkscrew opener? So that one should be... grapes and vase, so you... Grapes, okay. And, uh, I don't know if for this we gotta find it, I guess, huh? Well, let's go do that. Oh, there's one over there. Yes! Oh, my body's sweating. What do I- what? Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, 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 you, you guys scurry off. It must be nice to be a roach right now, not being chased by a headless man. Okay. Um, that, that looked a lot more different than the, uh, <laughs> the hunter. For sure. Okay. <laughs> I guess, like, pouring vase and whatever the hell that is? That's not one of the, the things here, though, is it? No, it's not. You can only switch the ones in the bottom. 
So we're still missing a third one. Okay, so I'm not sure why you were there for. Unless... Oh, okay. Well, now I'm just tripping balls. I guess that makes sense. I mean... Sure. Maybe I got the devil's fever now, too. Seeing headless men chase me down, I'm apparently in some sort of, uh... Wicked land with a sea of literal blood, perhaps. Levitating objects in the air. Ankles apparently breaking every single time I touch the ground. Yeah, I guess I'm just basic insane now. That's cool. Steve's trying to figure out what's happening, huh? <laughs> You're just insane. You have to worry about what's happening. It's all in your mind. Alright, let's go and check this out here. Hmm, other note. Yeah, I knew about you because we saw you earlier. So the other one's going to be glass and bottle. Hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. But the problem... Well, I was going to say the problem is how the hell do I get back? And uh, I guess we're back. Yeah. Interesting. We're doing that thing where they switch the environment around on you. Oh, now there's four of you. Oh, you're the one. Oh, so you weren't here before. And you had that little. Yeah, you had that. And then you're supposed to be. Bottle. Got it. Okay. Let's, uh, proceed before Headless Man chases me down again. What's with the thumping? Don't like those sounds too much. Okay. At least we got a wide open environment here. Guess we're going down through there. Seems fairly simple enough. Huh? Oh, oh, oh! I freaking fell. But wait! There's more! Okay, well, hopefully our boy is on the lighter side, because all I can find was these three bricks. And it leads me to believe that shouldn't really hold us up, but, um, hey. Let's see if. Oh, there we go. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. You look like you're about to fall down. I ain't gonna fall for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna fall for it three times, right? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Okay, there we go. This is somehow working and it worked. Perfect. I guess it's supposed to, you're supposed to make it that way. Still. Not fond of being, apparently. Fool, do I do I can't run anymore. Dude, come on. There's a monster chasing you. It's not the time to have weak lungs. Okay, I think we got around them somehow. Um, okay, stamina. Relax. Oh, what's happened? Oh, I'm trapped. I'm not trapped. Oh, God. Uh, here's, the, here's the thing, we, 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 gotta, we gotta come to a conclusion here. We, we can't be running all the time, okay? We can't be running, because if I'm running all the time, and then I really have to run, this guy runs out of stamina, okay? Okay, we're back outside at least. Wait. Oh, dude, we, we, we rolled up on the other side of that thing where I thought we could jump over it before. That's kind of neat. Alright. I like that. I'm a huge fan of things that loop around back into each other. So, could we... yes. No, I mean this. There we go, we got a little shortcut here now, too. What's that noise? It's just the environment, or at least the physics of this. Um, however, something tells me that thing that we tried using earlier to get through. we will probably have to use it for that. By the looks of things. Wonder if we could... Hmm. Wonder if we could get up there. We just gotta be really quick about it. I mean, it doesn't move that fast, thankfully. But again, remember, we have very weak lungs. There it is. Okay. Perfect. See, I was looking for, like, a box to do this with, but, uh... I guess the platform we're on... itself works. Oh, good, a garden maze. Yeah, I like this. This is something I definitely, uh, signed up for. Um, by the way, if I'm chased, I, I already forgot where I came from, so I'm obviously gonna run into a dead end. Just, uh, heads up. Ooh, who in the world thought? You know what this would be nice in our, in our garden? A little hedge maze. 
That's a good idea. When you're locked, of course you would be. Well, there's a door. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to lead into that building that we saw earlier. Maybe even the domicile of that so-and-so family. Anything in there? No. So you'd imagine this is creepy as all hell. Mother and father's school essay. Mother and father are two gigantic statues. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it literally means like this kid's mother and father. But um, mother and father. Like these statues are called mother and father, I think. Are two gigantic statues you can see from almost every part of the capital where we live. Mother is atop of the highest peak on the other side of the bay, and father stands at the place where almost everybody works. The Banadashik uh, winery. My father works for them too, as a serp. No one knows who built these statues, but they let the Banadoks build their winery below father because, he, because they were so nice to everyone. Whenever someone here is sad or crying, they usually go up to visit mother. Mother is good, helps people who come to her feel better. Father is good too. He helps the Manados and all of us to make the best wine in the whole world. What do you do? Oh! Man, these are some weird ass contraptions. Yeah, we're back here again. Perfect. Oh, so we couldn't check it out beforehand, but now we should have a chance. I, uh, <laughs> my own footsteps kind of freaked me out there. Oh, good. This again. Could it be that you're still the same, though? I went down and I have found a couple of new um, items for that code. The only problem is that uh, I don't know how to get back up now. Because there is no such way to do that. I guess we'd... Well, I guess kind of the way we started, right? Please stop chasing. Please stop chasing. I don't want to go back into the maze. I don't. I don't want to go back into the maze, dog. Okay, you can't do this. You can't do what I just did right now, okay? Okay, I, I think I got it. So, some of them do actually remain the same, but some do switch. And we are in. I think this right here, by the way, is the winery itself. So... The problem is... Uh... Problem is, it's so dark in here, for one. Oh, the tasting has completed. <laughs> How about that? The ground under your feet cracks. You fall into debris and are knocked unconscious. Slowly begin to wake up. It is night now. You remember someone dressed in black who came near you and locked you in the room. You're unsure if it was real or a dream. Your eyes slowly adapt to the light and you wake up to a terrible headache. Little by little, your vision gets less blurry. I was going to say, we've gone way over time, so I'm going to wrap it up here, but this is the perfect knockoff spot, I would say, then. Um, I am out of time, so I will wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information for this game will be down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves, continue on from where I left off. Maybe you want to see some more from me? Hey, that's a possibility, too. You let me know, and if there's enough interest, we'll definitely come back for more. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time.